Hey, how's it going everyone? David here and welcome to another reaction. This episode we are diving to Parks and Rec season three, episode number 11 called Jerry's Painting. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, uh, I do apologize if you're watching this on YouTube and it's a little later than it normally is. Uh, you know, YouTube has been extremely tough when it comes to copyright and stuff like that. And so I know that's not an excuse really that you guys want to hear, but I've been kind of doing these on every video, uh, just to kind of remind you guys that it's really difficult now for some reason to get videos out without them getting blocked or, or claimed or whatever the case may be. So, uh, just bear with us. We're trying to find a formula to kind of get back on track and, and put, you know, videos out as frequently and as on schedule as possible so you know thank you guys for that but without further ado obviously you guys are here for uh, my reaction to Parks and Rec and so let's get it going man buckle your seatbelts let's ride good morning, man. Oh. oh my god Sorry, <laughs> no. <laughs> no no not at all Leslie no Ben Wyatt Ben great news do you remember <laughs> the woman I told you about from the county I freaking Kansas love Chris Kansas? man um, this isn't anything like your affair with Tom Haverford. We weren't. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you calling? Chris just went there. How are you doing? Ooh, sparks are flying! <laughs> I'm going to call the fire department. <laughs> it's a government joke the rest of the day. I can't go home because I have this art show opening at the community center, and I can't stay here because I see... Leslie going home early? Stay. Come on, man. Roommate. How hot? I... Uh, what? How hot is the woman that's looking for a place to stay? Oh, <laughs> I have a ritual. It starts on the couch. Ugh. We sit down. Okay. Clap my hands. <laughs> I understand. and we need help with the rent. We have a couple of house rules, though. Andy yeah, sure, and course. April yeah, of all people. Climb into our mascara so we can see whether or not you've been crying. <laughs> all right, Ben. That's it. That's, that's all you had to hear. Sure, that'd be great. You want my gun? Uh -huh. <gasps> <laughs> no. No way, Jose. Please, 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 no. please, please. Yes, yes. All right, damn it, woman. <laughs> okay, everyone, shut up. <laughs> me. Welcome to Vision. Dude, Ronald. Yeah, it's a mess. This is awful, but this is probably what I would have expected from them, to be honest. Who's willing to pay more than their share of rent without knowing it? I think we nice. found that. Again. <laughs> no, Ben. Oh my God, this guy's here again. Powerful women, and subconsciously I. Dude, you should be complimented Sorry, by this, Leslie. No. There you go. Leave it up. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. God, the baby is Tom. What? No way. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> what the hell, Jerry? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, keep it, man. Life fix for months. Thank you. Thank her. Good morning, Tom. She watched it <laughs> this morning. It told me she wouldn't leave until I got Look sister. at her. And replaced it with a fat brown baby vibe. <laughs> not cool of a vibe. It's hey, a, it's it's, it's cooler, man. Miss Langman, we hear you. We understand you. And we are going to do whatever we can to come to a solution. Yo, he's such a <laughs> he's so good at it, man. Unless you want an arrow in your ass, Marsha. Okay, she is We're very me. determined to keep this well, painting. There were no bed not stay here anymore. No, sorry, dude. We already spent your money on a new Xbox 360 and more frisbees to eat off of. You gotta stay. Oh, god. Okay, all right. Bro, <laughs> I would lose my crap. We're answer this question is Parks and Recreation Deputy Director Leslie Nope. Heard it is a beautiful I don't work of art. Get it? It's Government art. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Art pieces are awesome naked people. One. You're absolutely sure. Okay, so you always <laughs> separate your lights mm -hmm. from your darks. That's racist. And then you get your. <laughs> Look at right? a she always looked at the camera, dude. That's my okay. favorite part about her. Very good. When'd you get into business? Last year. Fantastic. Some which are no, very good. Mean, okay, my guy. Art or pornography? Pornography. I think this whole debate is ridiculous. What Leslie and I do is obviously art. Oh, H hang on. Um, oh, whoa. The difference between <laughs> How would you define pornography? For me, it's when the penis goes in. Okay, who invited Brandy, man? 
All right, you need to do some therapy. I totally agree with you that people should be allowed to have sex in public places. You look familiar to me. Mm, maybe you see me down at the Snake Hole Lounge. I'm a part owner there. That's you. The baby. Amazing. You're the baby. I'm sorry that I'm trying to defend a beautiful work of art. Thank you, Leslie. Stand down, Jerry. This isn't a fight. You've left me no choice. Dude. I've it's a, it's a, a of the public perfect painting. And if I had my laptop with me right now, I would show you a well-hidden folder with gigabytes of proof. However, <laughs> okay, Tom. thing is disgusting <laughs> and wrong. Please let the <laughs> reflect that the beyond and by everything on that list. Or we could buy a Wii. <laughs> <laughs> do not buy the Wii. Why don't you just do it? No, I can't. I um, have a date. I don't, I don't know. No? Okay, then great. I'm just going to pull my car around and you can load it in the back. Yeah, sounds perfect. No. There you go, Leslie. Come there you here, go. Me. Get it all. Grab everything that we've seen it no. on TV. No. right now. <laughs> Iron Jim, I'm gonna get so bald. Oh <laughs> he did slim down and get, you know, more muscular for his role, but. I'm sorry, if I could just explain to you my point of view. You will bring that painting in tomorrow morning and surrender it to Marshall Langman, and that's that. Do you understand me, Matt? Eat them, and I don't want to buy all this stupid, boring adult stuff and become boring adults. Hey, listen to me. Yes, we're gonna get a dish rack and shower curtains and a cutting board. <laughs> for one second, I'm like the simple basic necessities that they didn't have. Um, well, I um, I stole a painting, and um, I was hoping you guys would help me hide it. I like it. It's very simple. No, it's not. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with Andy, oh my man? Gosh, <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> no. Did you buy plates? Oh, plates. <laughs> I mean, I know there was something. I bet you I can guess what it is. <laughs> she stole money from you. What? What? No. no. <laughs> Andy. Dude, Andy not. is ridiculous, <laughs> man. Let's take a look at it first, shall we? Whoa, oh. Amazing. I had the. Oh, he painted another one. I am so glad that this got resolved because I. Dude, look at the size of those vitamins. It's between the front arms or the back legs. <laughs> Damn it, Jerry. Damn it, Jerry. I knew it, man. I knew it. Gail. Jerry did what he needed to, man. <laughs> I knew he was going to throw a jab in there. I knew for a fact he would. All right, man. Season three, episode number 11 of Parks and Rec. First things first. <laughs> first things first. Ah oh, man. Okay. <laughs> the Andy April Ben stuff was absolutely amazing. Absolutely some of the greatest Parks and Rec stuff to me. Reason being is because they're so freaking like April and Andy are I love them. I love them. Don't let me sit here and sound like I'm beating them down. I love them. But they are so immature as a, you know, as individuals, let alone as, you know, a married couple. And so the fact that both of them live together and are married, I'm not surprised at all that their house looks the way it looks, especially because their roommate moved out. I'm not surprised. Like, literally... Eating off of Frisbees, using the same plastic fork. Ben gave them rent money. They used that rent money to buy an Xbox 360. <laughs> Nonetheless, they're just very irresponsible. They're just very uh, immature in the sense of just... I, I don't know if they've ever had to take on responsibilities. And... You know, now that they're in that situation, now that they're in that, uh, you know, scenario or whatever, they don't exactly know what to do. And so they kind of just live life the way they want to live life, which isn't, there's no problem with that. Let's not sit here and say, you know, because they want to live life the way they want to live life, it's a bad thing. At the end of the day, that's a part about living where we live 
the freedom to do whatever you please. But to a degree, you have to be bothered by that. Like, you can't live like that. That is ridiculous. And so I like that Ben came in and he was sort of like the adult figure that's, you know, sort of training them and trying to get them right, trying to get them to put their priorities, you know, first. And, you know, everyone has their sort of guilty uh, pleasures, guilty things that they turn to where, you know, hey, I got a little bit of money. I'm going to go spend it on this or that you know some people aren't as good with money management as others and so it doesn't surprise me that someone like andy and april are having these issues but i know with what april said it you know i understand why they are the way they are they just don't want to feel old and boring you know i mean i guess being responsible and doing things the right way can come off as old and boring but at the end of the day, it's, you know, just just be true to each other. And, and they still got the marshmallow gun. They got the everything that he told them to get. But they still got the little funny uh, prop that they wanted to get. And so it's always, it's always good to, I guess, balance, have a good balance in life. And so, I don't know, I, I found so much fun in uh, Ben trying to, you know, teach them the right things to do. And then, obviously, we have... Uh, you know, Jerry making a painting, you know, he painted a picture and it's beautiful. Every painting, every little crafty thing that Jerry comes up with to me always comes out stunning. And I know that's probably biased because I like Jerry as a character, but it was a nice painting. And the only thing that made people kind of, whoa, was the fact that obviously (laughs) It was nude and then it looked like Leslie and Tom, the whole Tom and the fat baby jokes and all that. That was really funny as well. Uh, But then we have, uh, you know, just the fact that they were so bothered by the fact that it was nude. But I feel like a lot of pictures and paintings are exactly that. I guess maybe it's not meant to be in a government building, but if Leslie wanted to take it home, by all means, Leslie, take it home. I don't see why, like, what's the big deal? But anyways, uh, that was a lot of fun to see Leslie sort of, you know, embrace it and really enjoy it. I I would have taken it as that. If somebody would have made a painting of me with my face, you know, and and, and on a centaur like they did with, with Tom at the end there, like they did with Leslie, I would have took it like, yeah, man, I don't even care if it had rolls or anything. This is like, yo, somebody thought enough about me that they made a painting on me. I would have took it as a compliment and been like, you know, thank you. Like, that was awesome. But no, nonetheless, man, really, really good episode. I'm going to give it an eight. I thought that the, uh, like I said, the Ben, April and Andy stuff was outstanding. (laughs) Just seeing them together, you know, always makes me happy. Even Ron's speech. Wow, I almost forgot Ron's speech. Ron wasn't in this episode as much as I would have liked, but even his speech was something like, that's such a Ron thing to do. It's such a Ron way to go about it. And so, I don't know. I enjoyed it, though. But uh, that's the episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed the reaction. Hopefully, you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra, extra early over there if you want to see them. Otherwise, wait for them to air here. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.